government usually upholds statutes, but in a few cases, some heads of state are accused of breaking laws. 1. Silvio Berlusconi, Prime Minister of Italy, on and off four times from 1994 to 2011. In 2012, Berlusconi was convicted of tax fraud, sentenced to four years in prison, and banned from public office for five years. After his appeal was filed in 2014, his sentence was reduced to one year of community service at a nursing home. In 2015, Silvia Berlusconi was once again saved from going to prison because of the statute of limitation and the lengthy appeals process. He was convicted of bribing a senator to change political factions and was sentenced to three years in prison and barred from holding public office for five years. Fast forward to 2018, where the court of Milan lifted the ban on him re-entering politics that have been in place since his 2012 tax fraud conviction as a form of rehabilitation. In 2019, Silvia Berlusconi announces he will run for a seat in the European Parliament. Needless to say, he is now a member of the European Parliament. 2. Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel. He is on trial for alleged bribery and breach of trust. The cases involved are known as 1000, 2000 and 4000. His trial started in May 2020. Benjamin Netanyahu is accused of accepting expensive gifts including champagne, jewelry, cigars and colluding with Israeli media to publish stories that are beneficial to him while smearing his political opponents. It is alleged that in return Netanyahu promoted legislations that would increase the profits of telecom companies by hundreds of millions of dollars. It is also alleged that the value of the goods both Netanyahu and his wife Sarah received was valued at about 700,000 shekels. 3. Nicolas Sarkozy, the president of France between May 2007 and May 2012. He is charged with allegedly accepting millions of euros from Colonel Muammar Gaddafi's Libyan regime to help fund his 2007 election campaign. In the Libya investigation in 2018, he is also charged with allegedly embezzled public funds, illegal campaign financing, and benefiting from embezzled funds. Nicolas Sarkozy is also accused of trying to bribe a judge, Gilbert Azibert. It is alleged that he offered him a plum job in Monaco in return for information about a criminal inquiry into his political party. Sarkozy's court appearance is scheduled before the end of 2020. He is also scheduled to go on trial in 2021 for the Big Malian affair. In this case, it is alleged that he violated campaign finance rules and overspent in his 2012 presidential re-election run. Prosecutors accuse Sarkozy's team of using a fake invoices scheme orchestrated by the public relations firm Big Malian to spend about 43 million euros on his re-election bid. 4. Donald Trump the sitting president of the United States. New York's Attorney General Letitia James has an active tax fraud investigation regarding the Trump Organization. This prosecution is at the state level and it is important to note that the presidential pardon powers, though powerful, does not apply to state crimes. This inquiry started after former lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen told the United States Congress that Donald Trump inflated asset values to save money on loans and insurance. On the other hand, the president deflated assets to reduce real estate taxes. 5. 
Lula da Silva, the president of Brazil from 2003 to 2010. He got a 12 years sentence after being found guilty in a corruption case in Brazil. He walked out of prison after being locked up for about a year and a half. His release came after in November 2019, the Brazilian Supreme Court ruled that mandatory incarceration was unlawful if the appeals process was still ongoing. Da Silva was imprisoned in April 2018. Lula da Silva maintained his innocence and argued that the case against him is politically motivated. He was convicted of allegedly accepting a beachside apartment from an engineering firm vying for contracts with the state oil company Petrobras. As always, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, share, leave a comment. Check out the join button right below this video. There is also a link to the join button in the community tab. And don't forget to subscribe. Again, try to be grateful and think positive.